Hot spring deposits on Earth preserve evidence of microbial life, including from nearly 3.5 billion years ago. So it was a big deal when the Spirit rover on Mars discovered evidence of similar deposits, but is this the right interpretation? On this episode of Mars Guy. I put this episode together in advance of a trip to Chile for two weeks of fieldwork related to what you're about to see. Both this episode and my fieldwork will revisit the most important discovery made by Spirit more than 16 years ago. Spirit arrived at Mars in January of 2004 to explore for evidence of an ancient lake in Gusev Crater. A large channel many hundreds of kilometers long was thought to have formed from flowing water that would have ponded in the giant crater, creating a lake billions of years ago. The two dark streaks on the floor of Gusev are composed of hundreds of individual tracks produced by dust devils, which are swirling updrafts of air that vacuumed up the reddish dust, exposing darker material underneath. Spirit landed among these tracks and discovered that the dark material is sand and rocks with basaltic composition, evidence of lava that probably flowed into Gusev long after the lake was gone. So the rover team turned Spirit to the nearby hills, named to honor the seven astronauts killed in the Columbia Space Shuttle disaster in 2003. Spirit drove up and over Husband Hill, named after the shuttle commander Rick Husband, in search of any evidence for ancient Lake Gusev that might be preserved in the hills. Home Plate, named for its vague resemblance to a baseball base, was originally thought to be a possible remnant of deposits from Lake Gusev. Spirit explored Home Plate and discovered that it's an eroded ash deposit produced by explosive volcanic activity in the area, which was a real disappointment to the team. But a totally unexpected discovery, even more important than finding lake deposits, was made among other materials next to Home Plate. Everything about this discovery was accidental, starting with that churned up soil. Here's Mars Guy for scale. This is where Spirit nearly got stuck after one of its wheel motors failed. Dragging the useless wheel behind, it opened up a trench in soil next to home plate that appeared strangely white. Spirit's instruments revealed a composition like none seen before on Mars, nearly pure opal and silica. But even more important was the discovery of nearby outcrops of rock with this same composition. This was the first proof of a hydrothermal system on Mars, one of the most sought after geologic settings in the search for life. These settings on Earth are known to host microbial life and their silica deposits can entomb and preserve evidence of that life for billions of years. Even more exciting, the outcrops of opal and silica have little finger-like structures that look a lot like ones in the outflow channels of hot springs on Earth, which are called stromatolites. They form from a combination of geology and biology as alternating layers of silica and microbial mats build upward. Obviously, this would be a monumental discovery for Mars, but there are alternative hypotheses for the formation of these structures and even for the formation of opal and silica. Volcanic steam vents, known as fumaroles, can generate sulfuric acid that leaches rocks and leaves behind a residue of opal and silica. That's what I want to investigate on La Staria, a nearly 5,700 meter high volcano in Chile with vigorous fumarolic activity. If all goes well, the next episode in this two-part set will be posted from Chile and include video from there. No guarantees though, so if there's no episode next week, you'll know why.